let's talk. Let's talk. Hello and welcome to another edition of Let's Talk. My name is Fennel Neptune. In today's broadcast, we speak about the school feeding program and book bursary. And with me to discuss this topic is the coordinator for student welfare, Miriam Henville, and storekeeper, Leonard Stolsey. Welcome to the program. Thank, Thank you. you. The school feeding program, of course, is one of the social assistance programs of the Ministry of Education. Can you tell us more about this program and what students does it cater to? Basically, the school feeding program started in St. Lucia in 1984 under a funding agent named WFP, meaning World Food Program. World Food Program um, used to give the children snacks such as bread with corned beef, bread with beef loaf, and a glass of milk. Um, WFP stayed in St. Lucia for at least eight years. After they pulled out, another funding agent came on board named Stibex. When Stibex came on board, they saw that there was a need to give the children a hot meal at midday. So we decided to go that direction. We personally find that the hot meal has been doing very well. It has been serving its purpose and we are trying to continue it. Um, the objective of the program basically is to protect vulnerable children from hunger and also increase school enrollment and attendance. We also want to improve the nutritional health of the students and to eliminate um, regular attendance in schools and also to introduce nutritional education. Okay, and in terms of the meals, what type of meals do the students really get? How does the, how does the ministry ensure that it's a nutritious meal? Okay, we, we serve all schools with a menu and a guideline whereby we go to the schools to ensure that the children are served the right meals. Okay. okay. And we work with Ministry of Health to develop that menu. It is just ed it's not just education, but we partner with Ministry of Health, the nutritionists, and we design that menu to ensure that it is in keeping with the regulations. Okay, and with this meal being given and this program being there for so long, what students um, actually benefit from this program? Is it primary school, infant, or is it secondary schools? Um, the secondary schools were brought on board, but basically the program was for the primary schools. We are trying to target the vulnerable children, but um, everybody can come on board. Great. And who is eligible for the school feeding program? Students, it is catered for students who are underprivileged, which means that at home, they do not have the luxury of having a meal every day. Sometimes they would come to, to school without that meal, breakfast, whether it be breakfast or lunch. So it was designed to cater for these students to meet their needs to ensure that they are at school. They contribute towards the program in the form of one dollar, those who can. If you cannot afford the principal who knows the background of the student, they would be put on the list to receive that meal. But those who can afford still partake in the school feeding program. Great. So it means that the selection of the student happens at the school? Yes, by the principal, because they have first-hand knowledge as to what exists at the child's home. Great. And what is the process like as it relates to applying for one child to be on the school field? We know that it's done for the school, but can you tell us more about the process? If somebody wants to actually get this child on the school feeding program? Well, everything happens at the school. The principal would be approached and um, after having discussions, that child would be enrolled and on a daily basis, they would be provided with that meal, providing that they pay the dollar if they can afford it. Okay, and how many schools in St. Lucia are benefiting from the school feeding program right now? Um, basically, we have 79 schools on the feeding program. Mm -hmm. We have 71 primary schools along with eight special schools. The special the, so schools, schools are until the five special education schools okay. and we have the care schools Odson and Slurry, Uptown, Uptown, sorry, and Donata School. 
Great. And over the years with this program happening, what has the feedback been like? The feedback has been great because the attendance is very high. You know, we have two sections where we have the needy children that comes in and they pay, and we have another section we call the non-needy children. These children don't contribute. The children that contribute is just the needy ones. They come in, they pay a dollar per child, per day, and the non-paying children, they don't pay. These are the vulnerable ones. They are identified by the principal and the teachers. Great. And besides this social assistance program of the Ministry of Education, there's also the Book Bursary, which is a public assistance program. Can you tell us a little more about this program? Okay, but before we head into the Book Bursary, we forgot about the secondary school, where there's a pilot program at four secondary schools, Bocage Secondary, Barbono, Urge, and Beanfield, where it was established by this administration to have that pilot done at the four schools where 50 students are selected at each school, the meals are purchased and the children are fed. And they have indicated that it's a very good initiative and uh, would like it to continue because the children are benefiting. There was a high level of absenteeism that has been showing signs of improvement. Children are eager to get to school knowing that there is a meal that they can get when they get to that school because sometimes they leave home without anything. So knowing that they can receive that meal, they are eager to come to school. Okay, but would you say that the government, well, the Ministry of Education is actually looking to do the school feeding program in more secondary schools around the island given that the feedback is really good in, with the four piloted schools? Yes, this is the plan. And we must also remember that at the primary schools, the children will get in a meal. And graduating from primary school to the secondary school, that is cut off. So with the implementation at the secondary school, it is something that government can consider once funds are available. But the initiative is a good one, and we are hoping that it continues in the future. Wonderful. Well, we are due for a break. When we return, we'll continue our discussion as it relates to the book bursary program. Hold well on to that thought. So we will be back with that discussion. Okay. Well, we will continue our discussion in a bit about the book bursary program. We'll be back in a moment. Tout le monde sait counseling, counseling, counseling. Qu'est-ce que je veux dire, Charles? Depuis que je fais ça, je ne peux pas jamais counseling. Mon Iglesia, juste aujourd'hui, tu as demandé un conseil sur ton mari et nous avons passé plus d'une heure sur le sel. Ça, c'est counseling? Je ne sais pas si c'est un affaire. Juste pense à ça, Iglesia. Quand tu as des difficultés avec quelqu'un, tu demandes à tes amis pour t'aider à te résoudre avec tes problèmes. Mais ne pourrais-tu pas préférer avoir un conseil d'un conseil professionnel? Counselor? I hope you're not one of those who think counseling is for crazy people. Hmm. When your situation is bien way, ek mwen besoin professional counseling. Me mani l'argent. I che a condition doctor's visit. Eh eh. Don't you know the Ministry of the Public Service has an employee assistance program they call the EAP, which is offering six free counseling sessions for government employees? Iglesia, why don't you take advantage of it? Really? It's free? Lend me your phone, let me call the EAP unit, ASAP. Because I want professional, did you say free? Free counseling. Boy, glass of water, who is the counseling, sir? Call the EAP unit at 468-2269. EAP works, let it work for you. Welcome back to Let's Talk. We will continue our discussion with Miriam Henville and Leonard Dorsey on the school feeding program and also book bursary. We just had a very fruitful discussion as we did it to schools feeding program. So right now we're going to have a little bit more discussion as it relates to the book bursary. And of course, the Ministry of Education has this book bursary program, which is a public assistance program. Can you tell us a little more about this program? Okay, the book bursary was established to again meet the needs of the vulnerable, the most needy ones in the society. 
where the parents are unable to perform the basic textbooks and workbooks. At present, we have um, approximately 1,900 students bene benefiting from this initiative. The program provides all textbooks and workbooks as on the Ministry of Education book list. So any additional book which may be prescribed by a school, we do not provide that book. But whatever is established on the Government of St. Lucia book list, these are the textbooks we provide. So there is maths, there is English, social studies, and general science. Okay, and what is the target audience for the book bursary program? What students does it cater to? To the infant and primary school students only, not secondary school. So if you are in grades 1, grade K to 6, we provide you textbooks and workbooks once you qualify for the assistance. Okay, so is it something that the ministry is looking to do in the future to cater to secondary school students? The secondary school was in existence and it has been disestablished as a result of a few hiccups. So I'm not too sure whether it will be reestablished in the future, but the primary school has been ongoing for over 10 years. Great. And why is it important that the Ministry of Education undertake such an initiative? Well, again, we want to see that students receive a proper education. They are furnished with the tools we know amongst ourselves there are some who cannot afford, while some can. So the, we target those who cannot afford the basic for their children. Okay, and what is the process like for book bursary every year? Okay, to receive a bursary from the ministry, the district representatives are issued annually with bursaries to give out to their constituents. Also, we get recommendations from principals. These principals have first-hand knowledge as to who the students are, who are in need. So apart from the district reps submitting their list, the principals submit a list as well for the request to have the child placed on the bursary program. Okay, but does it also involve the parliamentary representative sending in a list as well of students who are in need of the book bursary? Yes, we issue them with a quota annually to be distributed amongst their constituents. Great. And what are the requirements for a person as it relates to book bursary? Besides being needy, is there any other requirement that is needed for you to get be eligible for a book bursary? Well, the main focus is to target those who are needy. There are other people who come based on their discussion and what um, they relate to us, we use our discretion and we include them on the program. But the main focus is for the needy students. Great. And when is usually the distribution of books every year? From last year, 2017, it was decentralized which means that we went to each education district office. The Ministry of Education has eight district offices, so we visited each one to distribute and collect the books. It is usually done during the months of July onward, September, October, but the peak periods are July to August. So in the past it was done differently? In the past it was one central location at the RC Boys School where you came in, you dropped the books and you came back another day to collect the books. But as it's been decentralized, you bring back the books and you get the books on the same day. Great. And any final words? Well, we are hoping that this year, with the decentralization again, we are hoping to commence on July 9th starting off in Sufre. And we expect that the parents and students return the books in a good condition because a lot has been invested into providing with the books to the students. So we would like them to appreciate what is being done. And when the books are returned, to return it in good condition so that somebody else can use the book. Wonderful. That's and Mr. Dorsey, can you tell us how a person can contact 
the student support services unit. Okay, if you go on the directory, you will see it is listed, student support service, the student welfare. You can either contact us there, or you come to our department at San Susi, which is District 2 office, Education District 2 office. You can contact us right there. We are located on the ground floor. Yeah. Or you could even call us at 468-5441-5443-5442. Or we would like to have a personal touch or personal relationship. You could come in and we could have a discussion to either speak about the book bursary or the school feeding program. We are here to serve, so we appreciate you walking in or calling us. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Well, I want to thank you so much for being part of our program today. It was definitely a pleasure. I want to wish you all the best. Thank, thank you. you. Well, that's how we come to the end of Let's Talk for today. On behalf of the entire production team, I am Fennel Neptune. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Let's Talk. Let's talk.